What's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today is the second part of my, well it's not really an official series, but still the second part of like my Pancrop slash Twixter slash Velocity slash Sinking in After Effects instead of Sony Vegas. Uh, it was obviously mostly for console clips, but I'll show you my Pancrop if you haven't seen my Twixter tutorial, which I pretty much like I'm going like I just finished that. Check the description, check my channel. Um, I'm going to have the tutorial there. Uh, watch that first if you want to see my Twixter settings, and then you'll see my pan crop settings. So as of now, at this point, I have just syncing, and I have really gunshots, and the gunshots sound like shit, but I don't care because it's just a tutorial. Um, so I'm going to show you my pan crop. So what I'm going to do is pop up my scale. It's pretty much what I was scaling. In Vegas, you just drag in the pan crop, but you can't drag anything, so you just do the scale. So I'm going to start my clip out. And easy use your keyframes always. I can't use F9 like you're supposed to because that pauses Camtasia, but I'm going to easy use it that way. I actually start out when I'm transitioning between clips at about 133. And then I go to my 1 marker. Pretty much the way this is set up is in my 1, 3, 5 markers are gunshots. Uh, my 2, 4, and 6 markers are not, and the 7 is the ending keyframe. So the way that I work when I work in 60 FPS, I pretty much of my reset keyframe, I did air quotes because um, it's not truly resetted at three frames before the marker. I'll show you. So if I go to my zero marker and I have it at the, that height, like the biggest pump I want, then I go to my one marker and I go three frames back. So control left, 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 or command left, 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 and a Mac. Clip looks ugly, but you'll be seeing it so fast it doesn't matter. Set this to about 100, 304%. You can actually set it to 100 if you want. What the heck is happening up top? Well, that's some warping, so... Oh, a little quick tip here. If you want to fix Twixter warping, take your composition, multiply by 1.25% in the width and height. Type in motion tile. Yeah, drag this bad boy on there. I'm going to mirror the edges and go output width and length, or width and height, 125, 125. So now if I go back there, oh, warping's gone. Yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Um, I think I've done a tutorial on that ages ago. I don't know. Dang, no, I want to move it back. Sorry, I'm just derping out here. I'm forgetting how to After Effects. Anyway, uh, pan crop. That's what we're doing, Dan. Okay, no nope. scale. There we go. Okay, so yeah, three frames before my marker. I want my reset. You know, at 100, 304 percent of all. Then go to my marker and at gunshots, I usually do about 125 around there percent. Then I go to my two marker, three frames ahead, back to 103. It's pretty repetitive, just like my Twixter. Go to my two marker, and since it's not a gunshot, it's just like a Twixer pump. I'm gonna go 112 because it's still a pump, but it's not as significant. So I go 112, then I go to my 103 because my reset. Then three is a gunshot, so I'm gonna go 125. My chair is squeaking like crazy, so if you can hear that. Four marker, three frames back, 103, four, 112. It's ridiculously simple. Three frames back, 103. Since five's a gunshot, I wanna go 125. Then my 6 marker, 3 frames back, 103, you notice I'm flying through this because it's so easy. 6 isn't a gunshot, so 112. And at the end of my clips, if I, when I'm going into a pump, I go into my, uh, I go into my, like, next thing, and whether it be a cinematic or the next clip, at 133. So I'm just going to go 133. So now I have the Twixer set up and I have the pumps, so it looks a lot better. So let's go back to here, set my thing to 3rd. And let's ram preview this bad boy. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, this is how I do almost all my pan crop. You know, if I get some like random screen pumps in the middle, I'll do different things. But this is the basis of my syncing and the basis of my pan crop. In After Effects, it's pretty much the same as the same way I do it in Vegas. Slightly different with the syncing, but the pan crop is pretty much the same. And this is these tutorials aren't as long, it's not a 17 minute one. So once this goes, come on. We'll watch it. See how poopy it looks. Just kidding. It'll look decent. But since I obviously have no effects on it, no RSMB or anything, let's watch. <laughs> One more thing I forgot. Um, what you want to do anytime you're keyframing scale, I do this in all my edits. Motion blur is your friend. So hit this thing right here, it turns on motion blur for every layer that you select. And I select my layer, hit motion blur. So now when the clip is scaling, it actually blurs it a little bit. 
So I don't here. I'll put it on full. I'll show you. You can see it right there. When it's scaling up, the clip is actually blurring. So if I turn this off, come on, off, it doesn't blur. So it makes the pumps a bit more significant. And nobody walk down the stairs, please. But that's it for the tutorial, guys. Um, if you have any more suggestions, leave a comment below. I'll see if I can get through it eventually. I don't know. But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you out. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if it if I'm helping you out. Uh, stay tuned for my edits and stuff. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy. See you later.